One of the questions I get from time to time is what can a CEO do if she or he wants to build a high performance organization? And I said, it's so easy. That first step is so easy and it's so critical. You have to decide. You're not gonna drift to high performance. It's never happened. You have to decide we're gonna make a strategic bet that becoming a high performance organization will help us win with our team and with our customers. After hearing me talk about building a high performance organization, I have had leaders approach me and say, yeah, that's fine for the CEO, but what can I do? I'm, I'm not a senior leader. Well, my advice, I'm not sure it's encouraging or not, but you gotta bloom where you're planted. You need to do what you can do with what has been entrusted to you. And so I would encourage you first to make a commitment to high performance, a commitment as an individual leader, and the principles and practices of a high performance organization will work in isolation, in a functional area, or uh, in a division within a larger organization. So even if you're not the CEO, don't forfeit the opportunity to lead. Build something great. So all this talk about building a high performance organization may make perfect sense to you if you're leading a team, a division, a function, or an organization. But what if you find yourself in the role of an individual contributor? How in the world could you contribute to building a high performance organization? Well, I get that question in one form or another several times a year. Often it's a text from a team member in a restaurant who says, hey, I wanna be a Chick-fil-A operator someday. What advice do you have for me? I'd give you the same advice, whatever your career aspirations are, serve your leader well. Make her or him wildly successful and that'll be good for your career.